We are currently on India's most luxurious train. We've traveled all the way from Mumbai through Rajasthan, and sadly, our journey is coming to an end tomorrow in Delhi. We've ridden trains all over the world, but this trip has been unlike any other. Sorry, boys, I'm taken. It's kind of like a cruise ship on land. Every day, we explore a new city, and each night, we sleep on the train as we move to the next place. This is day five of our seven-day journey, and at this point, we've developed quite the routine. <laughs> So we thought it would be fun to show you exactly what a day in our life looks like on board the Maharajas Express. Gentlemen, you are requested to assemble in Raja Club as we are deboarding shortly. Thank you. So last night we boarded the train somewhere in the middle of the desert near the town of Baikonur and overnight we've traveled to the city of Jaipur and we're just pulling into the station now. Rohit just said, mm. ma'am, we are coming. <laughs> I think that means it's time to go. <laughs> Thank you. Have a, nice Have a day. lovely day. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good morning. This is Rohit. He's our butler. He's been taking amazing care of us. Have you ever had another guest request coffee every morning? Yeah, I think he's lying. <laughs> this in our first video but in case you missed it because we booked a suite on the train instead of getting on the bus with everyone else we get our own car with our own driver and a private guide totally worth it how many people live here Six million. So Jaipur is the capital and largest city of Rajasthan, and you can actually tell the difference here in the traffic. Not so much that there's more, but it's just different. So far I've seen a lot more cars, a lot less tuk-tuks, and definitely less camels than we saw yesterday. As we enter, you can see most of the shops, most of the houses are beautifully painted in terracotta, even the temples. To welcome Prince of Wales, Maharaja Ram Singh II, paint entire city in terracotta. And that terracotta is a color which is not known in England. So ministers with Prince of Wales call it terracotta pink. So terracotta is removed and they are still calling it as a pink city. So we spent a few weeks in India back in 2018 and we covered a lot of ground. But so far we've only visited new cities on this trip. Jaipur is the first city that we've been to before and the rest of the group was getting in the bus to go to the Amber Fort which we've done it was stunning absolutely beautiful so we just asked our guide to take us somewhere new and the first place he brought us was the spice market I think we're gonna get along very well <laughs> my nose is running this guy's literally grinding rice turmeric and chili right here so it's just in the air. Everyone is sneezing. It's the funniest thing. This is the flower market. Apparently this is very popular right now because it's wedding season and everybody is stocking up on their flowers for their wedding. Yes! Wow, thank oh. you. <laughs> oh, the smell of this place. I wish you could smell it. It smells like perfume is being Excuse squirted. Oh, it smells like honey. How much do they cost? I'm giving. That's a good Oh, point. no! Yeah, yeah. So you remember him as well as me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Can you take a photo? Yes. Um, oh. <laughs> Thank you. This is my favorite day. People are just giving us things that they don't want anything in return. You are beautiful. 
She's like his daughter. <laughs> my father from another life. I think. <laughs> he said, "You are my son." <laughs> he had tears in my eyes. He was so sweet. I really felt like we had a connection. Everyone we've interacted with has been so nice here. I have candy, flowers everywhere. We've only been out here for like ten minutes. Well, I like those too. So he's gonna make it fit my wrist. Yes. Do I have to put my arm in the fire? No, 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 no. <laughs> I decided I didn't have enough bangles, so I'm gonna get one more. <laughs> Whoa. Bangle hat. <laughs> wow. These could be my formal bangles for when we go to an Indian wedding, and these will be like my everyday bangles. Can I touch one? See how hot it is? No, no, no. It's hot. Little one. Whoa. Oh, wow. It's making it bigger. Did you buy that whole pack? I don't know. They're still very hot. I don't know how you're able to touch them like that. He's yeah. losing all the nerves in his hands. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Magic. Can you fit anymore? <laughs> this is the most I've ever bought on a tour. I don't know why I'm just having the best day. I think it's because I love our guide so much. He's just so genuine and sweet and everybody that we've stopped to talk to. <gasps> All the shops that we've stopped in have just been so giving and I don't know, maybe it's all staged, but it's working. I asked Mahi if he drinks a lot of tea, which I've learned is a silly question in India because he said only five or six times a day. This is fresh, unpasteurized goat milk that's been boiled for a very, very long time, mixed with the beautiful masala from the shop, topped with fresh saffron leaves. Oh, wow. It's probably the spiciest chai I've had. <laughs> One thing that I find super interesting about these markets is that everyone that's selling the same thing congregates together. So instead of there being like a bracelet guy here, a bracelet guy there, they're just all right next to each other. I don't know how anyone chooses. There's a beautiful box here. And if you open it, you will get the sweet. He said this guy is one of the most successful in the market. He can make 50,000 to 75,000 rupees per day just selling these sweets. Mmm, a bit dry, hard to talk as you're chewing. I can't think of something to compare this to that we have back in the US. It's very unique. So basically that was chickpea flour, a lot of butter, cardamom, and saffron. So it was like a very sweet, dense, dry, perfume tasting cookie. <laughs> it's string tobacco, it is a bit of leaf, a bit of nuts, they put lime on that and they chew it. These are the different ingredients. Can I smell the beetle nut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells really good. Look at this. Yeah? Oh, yeah. No duck. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it tastes very medicinal. You are welcome in my country. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We show what he is doing and what he is eating. So we share our things. You know, if I ask you your age, you feel bad. But if you ask his age, he's I, happy. He say, I'm 60 years old. Yeah. I am 62 years old. 62 years old. <laughs> live and live. Yes. <laughs> what he say? If you are having something, give it to uh, people. Aww. And you will feel happy in your life. Thank you for sharing yeah. with okay. us. The stuff that we tried was actually really good. Like this whole area smells incredible. I don't think it would sit well with my Western stomach. We're on the way to lunch. So normally we have lunch on board the train, but today they have brought us to the nicest hotel in all of Jaipur. Thank you. Look at this one, it's like golden. Can we make you Maharaja, sir? Yes. Scale of one to 10, how excited are you about this? I'm about a two right now. <laughs> <laughs> This is at least 10 feet of material. It's uh, 8 more. meter. So this is 24 feet. Yeah, it rocks. <laughs> How's that feel? <laughs> it's so tight. <laughs> Yesterday when we were in the train station, we saw the guy, or a replica of the guy, that held the Guinness World Record for the heaviest and longest turbine. And it was 1,569 feet. It took him a half an hour to put it up. And now I have a whole new appreciation for that. Thank you so much. 
And just like that, it all disappeared onto my head. <laughs> you look really funny. I feel like I look younger because my forehead is... <laughs> it's like a free facelift. <laughs> Hot. Hot. Oh, this is so fun. This is my first real henna tattoo. I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but I'm pretty sure the only other henna tattoo I've ever had was in the middle of my lower back on spring break in like eighth grade at the beach. <laughs> this is so fun. Thank you so much. Oh, I can't namaste. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't sorry. do this at the way it was spoiled. And we're back. So our tour guide usually brings us all the way back to our tour where we're met by Rohit, our butler, always being taken care of. So most days there's an official tour either in the morning or the afternoon. And up until this point, we've done the official tour and then we've also gone out and done something on our own, whether it's been the Rat Temple or a local market or going to a got to watch the sunset. But it is currently day five of the train trip and we have been going full steam ahead. So today we've decided to go back and just enjoy a nice relaxing afternoon on board. I can't take one today. <laughs> Usually I wipe my hands with a cold towel, but... Yeah. Thank Stay you so dirty. much. Thank you. What are the chances that there's drums? Drums? Drums. Uh, Good, morning, Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Have a nice night. I was really scared there was going to be drumming and horns this morning. This is much earlier than our normal wake-up call, but it's for good reason. This morning, we are going on a safari to hopefully see some tigers. With that said, before we booked this trip, I've read a lot of reviews and I didn't read a single one with anyone who saw a tiger, so my expectations are um, maybe where they should be. <laughs> Tigers yet. Well, we didn't see any tigers. And while our guide didn't seem too excited about the monkeys, they were definitely the highlight of our morning. Thank you. This is a rare moment. Typically, our train gets to the city in the mornings and we stay there all day. At night. This is the first time we've been at lunch while the train is moving from point A to point B. So we get to see the Indian countryside. This is really special. We see lots of animals, kids running around, some beautiful rock formations. It's just a totally different side of India that you really only get to see if you're on a train. Also, quick update for you. Last time Nate and I were in India, we got a little sick. We got pretty sick. <laughs> so I was a little nervous about that coming into this week, but I am proud to report that after eating every single thing that this train has to offer, both on and off board, our bowels are in a great place. Might be TMI, but it is a huge win for us. It's just been so fun getting to try so many different Indian dishes in a safe environment, not like worrying if this is going to be worth it. That's pretty much what we did the whole time last time. Like each time we eat new food off the street, we'd be like, oh, this is worth it. Oh. And then we drink Coke and hope that it kills any bad bacteria. I have no idea if that works. What's your Have a nice time. Have a nice time. Thank you. Wow. My name is Sunny. Sunny. And I'm your tour guide for the sightseeing today as well as for tomorrow. Nice Pleasure to meet you. you. So back in the 1500s, a Mughal king spent four years building this beautiful fortress. And then just 14 years later, there was some drama in Pakistan. So he just completely abandoned this fortress and it's been abandoned for hundreds of years since. That's how much wealth the Mughals had back in those days. They held one fifth of the world's worth. So be careful. Thank you so much. First tiger we've seen today. Woo! We saw we one. finally saw it. <laughs> Actually the first time I've seen that tiger. <laughs> It's time to party! 
Which one do you think is mine? This one looks like yours. So tonight is our last night on board, but we're gonna have a party. They're calling it Indian night. We're all dressing up in traditional clothes and we're gonna have a dance party. Somehow this is involved. Oh wow, it's so long. <laughs> Hold that in. It actually it perfectly touches this wall. It's half a train car long. I am so excited. Do you think we get to keep it? Looks like a lot to pack in your suitcase. I think you could fit two of me in these pants. Give them a little show. You <laughs> <laughs> have to come that close. Do you have here? So is it tight? Yeah, is this right? A little bit more. Tighter? Yeah. If you dance, then your sari will fall down. Oh no. I'm definitely gonna dance. I have no idea where to start with this sari. So I'm getting help from a professional. You can show your tummy, you can show your belly. Oh. So, or you can tie up like here, sorry. Really? Okay, so you wrapped it around. Wow, this is now, complicated. Now we'll make plates. Basically half of the fabric just got folded up into these plates right here. Ah, oh, we have some pins. Look at this. Wow. Oh, look. Sorry, beautiful. And that's how Indian women do. Ah, you put it over your head? I love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very modest. Thank you for your You're help. Welcome. Thank you. I love it. Enjoy. See you on the dance floor. I feel like an Indian princess. On the Sorry, boys, I'm taken. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the bangles. I'm gonna come up mm. with so many sorry jokes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Might take this thing off of her. It's gone on? to her head. In Iraq, it took me forever to get ready, and I had to wear that long belt that stretched all the way across the room. And here, mm. it's the same for you. It's like yours turned into a dress, and mine turned into a belt. Hi. Oh, he's flattering flatter on you, man. Very, very nice. Thank Whoa. you very much. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Everyone, including the staff, all squeezed into the bar car wearing our traditional clothing. And we dance to everything, from the Backstreet Boys to Bollywood hits. I always love a good dance party, but the coolest part about this one was coming together with everybody on board. Regardless of our age or where we were from, it was a great reminder that we're all the same and all love a good time. It was no doubt one of the biggest highlights of the trip for me. My favorite part of this night, besides it being top three dance parties of my life, is dancing with all of the staff who have been so professional all week, just letting loose. <laughs> so fun. Six we just had a 68 minute dance party. The employees on this train are so special. They made the trip. I love them all so much. I'm in tears just watching them all. Thank you so much. And just like that, they are back to work. Wow. No rush. Wow. Watch your step, please. Thank Good morning, you. sir. Even at 6 a.m., they have the red carpet lined with flowers for us. Apparently these early morning wake up calls are becoming the new routine. We are up before the sun for the grand finale of the trip. Okay, well, I'm a little more awake now. Thank you. This is uh, definitely our most comfortable journey yet to the Taj Mahal. <laughs> and the fact that those words just came out of my mouth are kind of mind blowing. This is actually the third time that we have been to the Taj Mahal. We were here once in 2018 as backpackers, once for a brand deal business thing in 2019. Every time we come to India, the Taj is a must stop. Who'd have thought? Three times. <laughs> Thank you. It doesn't get old, no matter how many times you see it. Honestly, I'm not the biggest like, architecture person, but there's something about this building. Like, I just want to stand here and stare at it. It's stunning.
What is one thing most people don't know about the Taj Mahal? People think it's just maybe a palace to live, but actually it's a tomb. When the fifth Mughal king of India was a young prince, he was in his teenage, around 15 years of age, and Lady of the Taj Mahal, she was in a blossoming youth of 14 years old. And after they got married, he bestowed a title upon her, and the title was Mumtaj Mahal. Mum is Arabic, which means being very special. Taj is also Arabic, means crown. And Mahal is Hindi, means palace. So literally, it means that she was the most beautiful crown of the palace. It's an irony that it's her death paved the way for the construction of this beautiful tomb. I've never taken the time to think about just how long ago this place was built. It was almost 400 years ago when they were using elephants to pull the marble from a quarry that was over 100 miles away. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I feel like a queen. Cheers. This is definitely a new experience for us. Before we head back to the train, they've arranged for us to have a champagne brunch at a beautiful hotel overlooking the Taj Mahal. All of this was set up just for us. This is not a restaurant. There's a full breakfast spread. There's a guy playing a sitar. Truly a grand finale. I haven't seen myself yet. Oh wow, great. I can hear out of my right ear, but not out of my left ear. <laughs> if I have to go to the bathroom, do I have to undo all of this? Or do I pull it up? Yeah, you have to pull it up. Okay, <laughs> thankfully I went before. <laughs> Buttoned all the way? Yeah. Or show some chest hair. I don't know, maybe since I show my belly, you need to show your chest. Do you see my two chest hairs? <laughs> 